Try to fly a little bit, maybe on the. I don't need to fly. Right? You can have it. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go. Can Keep you switch up in the middle of the flight and let somebody else fly? Uh, well, yeah, yeah we can uh, do a landing. Yeah. Watch you, I can set you up on a ten that. mile final or four, a three mile final. Oh, that'll be good. Then yeah. we can switch up it. Uh, so you're gonna be flying the airplane with this. Take off and climb. Pull back gently. Nose down. Push forward. And then left turn, right turn. Okay. Power. You got these uh, two thralls. So he, he Mark, explained them to you. Yeah. So for takeoff, we need power and speed. You're gonna push both of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. When you wanna, when you level out, when you wanna maintain your altitude, you wanna bring your power back halfway because you don't wanna keep your power standing too high. Right. When you're about to land, uh, you're just gonna. Close the throttles, you're going to touch down and then bring these two up. So these are the uh, thrust reverses. And what they do, they reverse the thrust of the engine to slow you down on landing. All right? Uh, so now, here's Ooh. LAX. Wow. So real. The scenery is pretty good on that. Yeah, this is, this is LA. I can yeah. see the mountains and everything. You can see the mountains, you can see in and out Burger, <laughs> you know, by uh, Runway 24, right? Yeah. Very famous uh, place. So, uh, you got that, so landing, boom, boom, all right? Okay. Now, we're going to set the flaps for takeoff. So, we need to set the flaps five for takeoff and then 30 for landing. Okay. And the flaps will give you enough lift to be able to take off at a shorter distance. Okay. So, uh, the way you set the flaps, the, the way you operate the flaps, you pull up and then do this. All okay. right. So go ahead and set flaps five. Okay. This one. This one. Yeah. Five. So pull up. Yeah, you just want to pull up. Just like that. Five. So usually you do it with your two fingers. Okay. Right there. It's good. Okay. So just go ahead and do it. One, two, flaps five. Good. Okay. Now these are the flap indicator just to make sure they are working properly. Okay. Now we're going to set the uh, auto brakes. So auto brakes, just turn that knob to RTO. Okay. All right, so RTO stands for reject to takeoff. Okay. So these are the automatic braking uh, system. And uh, RTO, reject to takeoff, that is in case if you uh, need to reject your takeoff, if you have an engine failure, you see an aircraft crossing the long way. As soon as you uh, close the throttles, like you're doing uh, full speed, and then you see something, engine failure, you're gonna close the throttles. Okay. And then these will give you maximum braking action. They're just gonna slow you down. Right, on can we go? Can we fly back from Reagan National Round? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can take off from here, and then uh, you want to land. Uh, take off from here, land in uh, Reagan National. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, so next thing you want to set is the uh, autopilot panel. So you're gonna hand fly uh, first, but we want to set it up before takeoff. Okay. So on this flight, we're gonna climb and maintain, let's say, uh, five thousand feet. So you're gonna set this to five thousand. And then after takeoff, we'll maintain runway heading, which means we're gonna fly straight. Okay. And this is gonna be 251. So you're gonna set your heading to 250. Okay. And then I'll, I'll explain to you what, how the uh, heading indicator works, okay. right? And next thing you wanna set is the uh, speed for takeoff. And okay. it's going to be 200, no, oh, let me set it. 230 knots. Okay. So this is the speed indicator, so set it to two, uh, 130. Okay, 130. 130, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. All right, now everything is set here. Okay. All right, good. Okay. So now moving on to this screen, this is your navigation this way. So with this, you can see all the airports in the area. So you got LAX, right? Uh -huh. If I zoom out, you can see Burbank, Van High, and all the airports suitable for landing in okay. 737. Here, this is your heading indicator. Heading indicators for direction. So this is the, the, the heading you're gonna fly to. Okay. Heading indicator is just like a compass. You got, like this, you got west, north, east, and south. Uh, and everything is in degrees. So for example, 24 is 240 degrees. All right. Looking at here, we're on the heading of 250. Okay. So I'll be using this heading bug just to give you some direction so you don't get lost. Okay. All right. So for example, I'll tell you, all right, turn left, fly heading uh, 210. So I'm okay. just going to set it to 210 right okay. here. Okay. And this triangle is you. So all you have to do is you're just going to turn left and then track 210 to you. Okay. So you're going to turn into that heading. Okay. All right. So this is basic navigation. Okay. Right?
Now, looking at this here, this is gonna be your main instrument. So you wanna know how fast you're flying, how high you're flying, how you're flying the airplane in the air. Mm -hmm. So you got a few things here to look at. This window here is your altitude indicator, showing you how high you're flying. Mm -hmm. So now it's showing we're at 120 feet high is because the field elevation in LAX is 120 feet uh, over sea level, right? Sea level is zero. Now this here is your airspeed indicator. So when you see 130, you're gonna do your takeoff. You pull back, do your takeoff, all right? And then this here is called the attitude indicator or uh, horizon and showing you how you find the airplane in the air in relation to the horizon. So it's very useful when you fly through clouds or at nighttime because you can't see anything all right, out there. So you're gonna be looking at this and then th these are your wings, the, this is the nose of the airplane, ground, sky, and then horizon, all right? Mm -hmm. So when you're climbing, you're gonna see this going up. If you're turning left and right, you're gonna see your wings turn left and right, all right? Okay. So, but it's just gonna show you some limitations as well because you don't wanna climb at a steep angle, you don't wanna turn like a, at a steep uh, bank angle. Uh, so when you're climbing, your limitation is going to be over uh, 10 degrees, uh, 15 degrees right here. Okay. And then when you bank left and right, you're going to see this needle moving left and right. So maximum bank angle is going to be this line, this big line. Okay. 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 All right. So you'll, it all makes sense to you once you're in the air. Wow. Now, Gonna do your takeoff, right? Okay. So uh, next thing you want to do is turn on your landing light. So go ahead and push that forward. Okay. All right. And uh, this is a non-smoking flight, so no smoking sign, seatbelt sign should be on. So go ahead and flip them down. All right. And then hit the attendant button. Okay. And then this is just to signal your flight attendant they should be ready for takeoff. So you always okay. gonna hear it before takeoff. Okay. Now parking brake release. So push that forward. Okay. All right, put your hands on the throttles and then you're going to advance the throttles forward. Okay. All right. Right about here. Good. Okay. Keep them there. All right. Now, hold it there. All right. And then now we're going to get some speed. So if you look at your airspeed indicator on the left, see uh -huh. it moving? Yeah. So at 130, you pull back very gently. Okay. So you don't pull back and that back. You want to keep your power setting. Okay. Because you need that power. Okay. You're going to pull this back. All right, now okay. put your hand. One, two, three, and then pull back gently. Okay. One more. There we go. Nice. Your first takeoff. Positive rate here up. Okay. Ah, beautiful. Now you're going to let it go, and then you're going to aim 15 degrees. So remember what I say, 15 degrees. Yep. So you're going to push your nose down to this line. This okay. is 15. So you got 20, 10, 15, okay. right? Okay. So you're gonna remember it, 15 degrees, your maximum pitch, okay. right? So just now, when you fly the airplane, you wanna fly it like this, you wanna, there we go, okay. there we go. And the reason why 15 degrees is because you wanna increase your airspeed as you're climbing. Okay. And by cre increasing your airspeed, you just gotta drop your nose just gently down, right there, okay. perfect, keep it there. Okay. All right, and yeah, let me give you a nice little uh, sunset. Okay. All right, and let's go ahead and turn right and fly heading uh, 330. Okay. So you're gonna push your nose forward, okay. all right? And then turn right. Okay. All right, we'll do flaps one. All right, you're gonna bank a little more to the right. Okay. There we go, and then you're gonna hold it there. Okay. We wanna climb 5,000 feet. All right, doing really good, really good. Okay. Your turn is perfect. And we're gonna turn this direction. So when is this up here, you're gonna stop turning by rolling. Okay. All right? Wow. I'm flying an airplane, flying, everybody. Flying. I'm flying on my birthday. Yes. I'm flying a 737 Boeing That's airplane. Right. $100 million. <laughs> Now, 120 million with, uh, with the inflation. <laughs> 120 million, yeah, yeah. 120 million dollar okay. airplane. All right, now you're gonna roll back straight. Okay. All right, so you're gonna look at the horizon and then try to keep your wings straight. You're gonna push your nose down until you see the horizon right there. All right, okay. cool. Now you're gonna hold it there and then turn left. Okay. Keep 
turning, keep turning, keep turning, a little more, a little more, a little more, and then release. That's it. Now you're flying straight and level. All right. Very good. Now you can see the whole LA. This is uh, Pasadena, Burbank area. Uh, you got Burbank out there and uh, Van High, and then wow. you got Hollywood. Right here, hey Steven, right. it's my son living down there. Steve. He lives in Hollywood? Yep, yeah, he's in All Hollywood. Right. Are we flying into LA, LAX yeah, we're or going Burbank? To, we're going to break in there. Yeah, we're, right now we're over uh, Hollywood. Okay. And then we're just gonna, we're heading to Burbank. Okay. Burbank is up front. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, you see the, see. the airport? Yeah. And then uh, we're just gonna do a few turns and I'll set you up on a 10 mile final in uh, DCA. Okay. You want to come from the south or north? Uh, either one. Because there's two approaches. From the north side, this is one of the most difficult approach. Okay. South side, we're coming in on the uh, river. As That's well. from the south. Yeah. All, right. All right. Let's do another turn to the right. Okay. All right. So do a right bank angle and then turn right fly heading the other right. Okay. And then fly right heading. Zero seven zero. Okay. Uh, the other right. Okay. <laughs> uh, pull your nose up a little more, and then turn right. Okay. All right. There we go. Good. Uh, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. You're a good teacher. Thank you. So when you're banking, everything is in relation to the uh, horizon, right? Okay. So if you don't see the horizon, that means your nose is going up like this because you can't see it, right? Right. So you want to have a look on the horizon. When you're turning, you're going to keep that, your eye on the uh, horizon. You're turning. You stay with it. Okay. Stay with it, right? So okay. you don't climb or descend. Okay. So now you're doing fine. See, you're, you're not climbing or descending. You're doing a perfect turn. Okay. And this is where Kobe Bryant crashed. Oh wow! Over there, it was foggy, so they couldn't see. They couldn't see, so they took off from Burbank here and turned right, and then he lost control, control and crashed into. Wow! That that fog, that fog. It that was, was the highest fog. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. Was, he was. Uh, if it was a clear day, he could have made it. Of course, but uh, he was disoriented. He got disoriented. He didn't look at his. Uh, Wow, look at the so, moon. I don't know. Looks like a Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> look at the moon. I'm flying everybody. They've been flying airplane. Yeah, you're flying my... at 8,500 feet. 8,500 feet on my birthday. That's Amos right. is recording. Yvette is hanging with me. My wife says she's going to get up in the plane with me. <laughs> See, it's not too bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Alright, now you're going to roll it out straight, so look at the horizon, keep an eye on it. Okay. If you see your nose going up, just push forward. Okay. Alright, there we go, and then roll again, keep rolling until you're straight. Okay. And then you got LAX on your right. Okay. So we're flying right over Burbank. Right wow. Alright, let me set you up on a 10 mile final in okay. DCA. Okay. So, I'm just gonna do runway one. All right, so the whole thing is gonna freeze up for a minute. Okay. All right. I yeah. wanted to go to California for my birthday and I made it. You made it. We can go somewhere <laughs> else too if you want to. I made it. You wanna go to Paris or uh, Santa Barbara? Yeah. Or uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico? We had the most Hawaii. beautiful sight. <laughs> the most Hawaii. beautiful sight. So, Santa Martin is, is not bad. Uh, Paris at nighttime is good. Uh, Hawaii is kind of basic, but it's still good. Uh, but San Martin, they, they have a really good scenery. Oh, wow. Over the beach. Oh, nice. All right, here, let me reset. All right, so we're just going to be on the 10 mile final. That means it's going to be a straight end. The runway is going to be in front of you 10 miles away. All right, okay. here, let me set it up for you. Right there, we're going to hold it. Right there. So on the Potomac River, okay. and then runway is right in front of you. Okay. And then you got the uh, Wilson Bridge. Yeah. You know the Wilson Bridge. I see. Right. It. Yep. So we should be flying over the uh, Wilson Bridge at 1,300 feet on our descent. Okay. Right now we're at 2,000 feet. Stay at 2,000 feet for now. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna guide you through the whole procedure. Okay. Now we're gonna drop the uh, landing gear down. So the way you do it, you pull out down. Okay. Right. Go ahead and do it. 
I got it. Down, very good. Landing gear coming down. And then I'm gonna set the flaps to 15 degrees, then trim. All right. Now you're gonna push your nose down a little more. Okay. All right, very good, just like that. Perfect. Good. And then we're gonna slowly descend. Okay. So when you're descending, you wanna control the nose of the airplane, your descent rate. You're gonna aim for 1,000 feet per minute. Okay. See that needle? Yeah. Just set it at one and then okay. keep it there. Okay. You're gonna look outside, you're gonna aim for the runway. See where how we were drifting away from it? Yeah. You wanna aim for the center line. Okay. The best way to do it, so that's it. Okay. Just a small turn and then roll back straight. Okay. Right, 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 right. Keep going, okay. keep going, keep going. There we go. Okay. And the best way to aim for the runway is with your right leg. Alright? Okay. Okay. So try to aim right leg on the center of the runway. Okay. okay. If you see yourself drifting away, just correct back and just small correction. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna just the flaps to thirty. Okay. That's our final flaps. Okay. All right. And then keep descending gently, very gently. You're doing good. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Nice okay. approach. Stabilized. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Right there. Okay. Uh, just a small correction to the left. So you see how you're yeah. a little to the left, just a. Just turn over the right. Bit. Just a small correction. So you okay. do a correction, let it come, and then roll back straight. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll back straight. Okay. Roll a little more. Good job. Okay. Right, good. Perfect. We crossed the Wilson Breeze now. Now we're flying right over. Just it's like in real. Breeze, like they do it in real. Yep. Same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Alright, good. So keep an eye on the wrong way and push your nose down just a little more. Okay. Alright, it's all about controlling the uh, the nose of the airplane when you're descending. Okay. Don't go, let it drop too fast, not too slow. Okay. Right about there is good. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Small correction to the right, just a small one. That's okay. it. Alright, good. Let it come to you to your right leg. Alright, remember, right leg, center line. Okay. See that middle line? Yep. Just aim for it. Okay. Alright, and then gently to the left. Okay. Uh -huh. Speed is good. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, keep descending. Okay. Once you get really close to the ground, when it says 50 oh, feet, okay. you're gonna pull your nose up but very gently, like two degrees up, not too high. Okay. Otherwise you're gonna go back up. Okay. Alright, keep descending, push your nose down a little more. Okay. Let it go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. Keep descending a little more. There we go. Nice. Alright. You're coming in. Alright, now you're gonna pull Sink your right. nose Sink higher. Right. That's it. Right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Alright, higher. Alright, that's it. Alright, power. Keep it there. Touch down, let it go. Put your hands on the reverse thrust, pull these two up, these two here. Alright, pull them up. Beautiful. And reverse thrust. Southwest, man. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. And then we'll turn here, exit the wrong way. Wow, this is Reagan National, right? Yeah, Reagan National. Home sweet homie, man. Yes. I made it from California to Reagan National. To Reagan National. All right, that was good. Wow. Was good landing, see? Yeah. That was perfect. Oh, man, this is... Uh, Heaven on earth, man. Oh, uh, you want to do another one? Yeah, my greatest right. birthday gift. You, where do you want to go? You want to go to San Martin or you want to go somewhere else? Yeah, let's do. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Let's do. Um, let's do um, New York. You want to do New York? Yeah, oh. want to go you to New York? York? You need to go international. Okay, yeah, international. Paris. Okay, you want to go to Paris? You can go to international. Which one has a good view out when you want? <laughs> uh, Paris on nighttime. Really? It's good. Yeah. Okay, we yeah. go to Paris. Amos, never been to Paris. Pause it, Ains. 